every time you think about the environment, whatever you do, it's always beneficial for the people, for the animals, for nature itself. I was really proud of myself for being able to voice my opinions and teach younger generations about how important it is to truly respect our environment and try our best to conserve our wildlife species. Hello, my name is In Erin Tong Tang from Shrewsbury International School. I'm currently in year 12 and is 17 years old and the founder of Below the Tides. Partner I started this organization with is my sister. I'm Aim Arisa Tong Tang. I learn at Shrewsbury Riverside and I'm 15 years old and the founder of Below the Tides. So the reason I started Bill of the Tides was because my love and passion for reptiles, especially turtles and tortoises. So I wanted to turn my passion into something that I can make an impact on. And that's the reason why it's called Below the Tides, because I went to go look at sea turtles and identified significant problem. I wanted to create a positive impact for environments under the ocean. So a reason why I started Below the Tides and wanted to do something related to sea turtles and animals under the ocean was because of my family. We always went to um, Ampoa and stay close with the environment, with nature. As you can see, a lot of trees, a lot of um, greenery, because yeah, we just grew up with nature, we're close with it, and we feel like it's something, a responsibility we have to take care of. We started Below the Tides because of our love for the environment. Growing up by the river at my grandma's house, we would always swim in the river, but something that I noticed was we always had trash floating around. And because of my brother's love for animals, especially his turtles, we wanted to make an impact in society. And that's why we started with Below the Tides focusing on underwater animals because they are a really big part of the ecosystem. I've always kind of just followed my brother around wherever he went and whatever he did. So I just helped him take care of his pets too. But I feel like the starting point for me was when my mom brought us to go scuba diving and I really noticed how beautiful the place actually was. And that's where my passion for uh, sea animals really started say that my family played a big role in pushing me to do different things which eventually led me to loving what I'm doing. So below the tide, as you may know, our first campaign was Zero Starving Sea Turtles, which aimed to raise 100 baby sea turtles to grow to around 1 foot or 30 centimeters in length to increase their um, chance of survival to 75% in the wild when we release them back into the wild. The reason why I decided to do that was because we went to the research center and conservation center in Rayong, where a significant problem there was that they didn't have enough funds and finance to raise enough baby turtles and not a lot of them were getting sent back into the ocean. So that was definitely a reason why I started um, Zero Starring Sea Turtles. The reason why we started uh, campaigns about dugongs, corals, and seagrass is because, as you may know, the main source of food for a dugong is seagrass. And there's been a lot of discussions about sea turtles and dugongs not sharing seagrass or there's not sufficient amounts of seagrass for both of them to live properly. We decided to invest our funding the research and locating of dugongs to gain more information on them and their migrating patterns, which helped us gain a larger understanding on their feeding habits and what we can do to increase um, the amount of seagrass for them. Long Live Dugong is one of my favorite projects. It's because I've always seen clips of manatees and dugongs on TikTok and I've always thought that they were really cute creatures. 
So when me and my mom went to Trat to try to find some and we couldn't find any, I was really bummed out. But in the end, we had a chance to meet a baby dugong and that really changed my perspective of the endangered animals in Thailand since in other countries they might not be endangered but in Thailand they are very endangered and it has become a really big problem since not everybody knows about it and not everybody tries to help out. So we have this new campaign called La La Na Mamun Oi, which is a campaign where we focus on the damages of microplastic. Because after mentioning a terror cycle, we had the opportunity to learn about the different types of plastics and how it affected the environment and how it affected the health of people. It's about microplastics. People might not care since they think that they have no connection with nature, but actually everything is interconnected and the thing you throw away might be the next thing that's in your body since fish eat the plastic you, that you throw away and we eat fish. So in the end of the day, no matter how far you are from the ocean or how close you are, we all have to help since plastic can also just be floating in the air. Our campaigns and organization is going to run on for hopefully many years on end and even with you coming to donate even 20 baht, 10 baht or anything, whatever you can, that's always helpful and that's a sign that you care about the environment and nature itself. You don't have to do something big, like you don't have to start a project, you don't have to start campaigns, you just have to be a supporter, be helpful and even when like there's separating trash, you might not think that's a big deal but you don't understand how far that goes for, for the earth. And you know, it's a world we live in, it's, it's our world, we should take care of it. Overall, I would hope that we share more awareness and everybody becomes more engaged in natural activities such as fundraisers or basically just telling people about how important it is to respect our wildlife. No matter how hard it is, uh, no matter how small or insignificant other people might think our projects are, uh, I will keep trying my best to fight and do more projects because sometimes the smallest things make the biggest impacts. And at the end of the day, the wildlife is our home and without wildlife, we will not have a place to thrive. Uh, if you want to follow us on our um, campaigns and projects, go to belowthetides.com, Instagram at belowthetides or Facebook, and also our YouTube channel where we post our regular campaigns and projects. And if you want to go donate, you can go to tejai.com, uh, search up our um, campaign names. We have Below the Tides t-shirt for the Sea Turtle Project, a Below the Tides water bottle, and that I hand drew, Bill the Tides elephant pants, which has sea animals uh, print on it, and that's five different colors.